Okay guys, I'm going to try to make this video as simple as simple as I can and as fast as I can because I'm making sofrito and the sofrito I'm going to be using it today to season my penny, my pork that's going inside of my pateles. Um, so I'm going to make a very quick video. I didn't intend on this but I decided I wanted to um, to share it with you. So um, I went to the supermarket, Puerto Rican supermarket because this is the only place that I can actually find um, certain things like these leaves here Let me open it up oh my god this smells so good and I bought two packs of these
loves. This is done. Let me slide this over. All right, guys. So the sofrito is done. So you can use plastic containers like the like the. You can use these plastic um, containers. I get these at the dollar store, and I use them. Excuse me, because I make fresh beans. So what I do is when I make my fresh beans, I separate them into these containers so I can freeze them. And I always have fresh beans. So we're going to use this for the sofrito. So I'm going to put some in here to freeze some sofrito. And I'm going to use this jar to put some in that I'm going to be using today for my pateles. Um, these jars here, every time I buy something that comes in a glass jar, I never throw out these jars. Um, Paul likes to drink out of them, you know, like juice and stuff, um, because he just likes the size of it. I have bought mason jars before in Walmart, whole pack, um, the mason jars so you can drink um, out of them. And they're lost, I don't know where they're at. So. I, I don't buy them anymore so what I do now is I just save all the um, jars like this I normally soak I have my umbrella to the light here in my cabinet so I can't open the cabinet to show you but I normally soak these in warm water and the label comes right off so um, I'm going to be putting some sofrito in here as well It looks good, it's so frito. It looks like I like um, a smoothie that, that PJ used to make. Oh, when PJ makes his veggie smoothies with the fruits. Yeah. Really good. Mom, can I put these in a Ziploc bag? What? These. The peppermints? For what? Because I wanted to keep the container. Alright. Okay, so this is what's in here. Um, I still have some in here. I'm just going to scrape it out. Oh. So I can do it right, Mom? Yes, Gigi. And the snack size um, Ziploc bags. So I use the sandwich ones. All right, so this is it. This is the two containers that um, that it made. This one, it has a little more, the bl um, the blender, so it'll probably get come up to here. But this is what I'm using today. And then this is what I'm going to to freeze okay and normally when I make this I usually make a lot like a big amount because I freeze I like to freeze like 40s plus have one of these in the refrigerator plus I like to give to Tati Tati takes them home so that's it um so I'm gonna clean this up I hope that you enjoyed this video sorry that it was um fast and um I have to move on to making my pateles and my coquito. So I'm going to end this part of the video now. And then I will be making a second part where I'm going to show you how to make the pateles from beginning to end. So let me clean this up so I can start prepping my, my pork. Okay. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. It's Simply Nana with Crafting Cooking and Sasong. God bless.